this story from starting. Long, long, long time ago, in Julian. Oh, way up in the mountains. Do you guys know where Julian is at? Up in the mountains? Yes. It is, it is a cool, cool place. There's, 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 Julian is famous because they grow apples in there, but you know what else they have in Julian? Gold. Gold. They mined for gold there. Yes. There was a lot of gold. Ooh. Well, there were a lot of interesting people that lived in this town. And there was one family. It was a great family. This family, they had so many wonderful things. They had a beautiful house and a lovely, lovely yard. But they had one thing that was really a problem. They always, no, first, first, yes. Yes. they wanted to have a child. Yes. And they said, I want to have a child. That's right. If we had just a small child, a child of our very own, he could grow up in our, on our farm and, and, and it would be the best thing ever to have a small child. So that would be so good. Now, this, they finally, a long time went and they did. They had a little boy. He was good. He was smart. He was perfect in every way, except for he was born with only one arm. But that's okay. He knew how to do all kinds of things. Yes, I can still do. I can play sports still, I can still play soccer, I can still color, I can I can do my homework, I can do my chores, I can do anything I want to, even just one. But he wished, 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 someday that he could have another arm. And then finally, one day, the people came and they made a new arm for him. It was beautiful. It was made out of solid gold. Ooh. My own golden arm. Look, see, look at that. It fits perfect. It's just like a Lego. I've got a golden arm. And it was so cool. Yes. Everybody thought this was a beautiful golden I arm. I love my golden arm. They loved it. And he did, well, he did all kinds That's of adventures right. with I can play arm. tennis with the golden arm. I can do anything with my golden arm. I love my golden arm. It's the most beautiful thing. Do you have your But I'm going to get these over here. He grew up. He went to high school. Yes. He went to college. And one day he met a woman and they decided to get married and they lived happily, happily ever, ever after. after. That is terrifying. No, that's Oh, not, no. They didn't get there yet. Okay. So, they time went by yes. and one day after dinner, the husband was polishing that beautiful golden arm. And he asked his wife a strange and unusual question. Oh, my dear wife, um, I have to ask you a strange and unusual question. What is that? Well, as you know, I've had my golden arm ever since I was a small boy. Oh, I know. It's a beautiful arm. It's a beautiful arm. It's a beautiful golden arm. And I have worn my golden arm every day ever since then. I love my golden arm. But someday I, I won't be here anymore. And it will be time to bury me. In a coffin. Oh, husband, I don't want to think of such sad things. But I don't even want to think of. I know it won't happen for a very, very long time. But when that day comes, and I must go to my rest, I need you to bury me with my golden arm. I love my golden arm, and I don't want to be without it. Okay. Well, I promise I will bury you with Thank that golden arm. Thank you very much. I swear. Pinky swear. And okay. this pinky too. Okay, pinky pinky. There we go, thank okay. you, all right. So, time went by, and a long, 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 long time went by, <sighs> until one day, the man, <sighs> well, he just passed away. <sighs> well, it was so, <laughs> it was, it was actually really, really sad, and everybody was, was they were so sad. And then somebody came over and asked the wife, who said, well, it's, I'm 
so sorry for your loss. I know we're going to have a nice funeral, but I want to ask you, are you going to bury him with that golden arm, or would you like it back? Now, the wife had to think, hmm. If I kept it, I could sell it, and I would have so much money. It could be, like I could buy a brand new house, or I could buy, I could buy like 25 horses, or I could help the poor people in my town. It would be good. Maybe I should keep it. I don't know, what do you guys think? She started asking her friends, should I keep it or should I bury it with it? What do you think I should do? Bury it with it. Well, well, why should I bury him with it? Because you already, because you already promised that. Yeah. Oh, I did promise. I did promise. Did I picky swear? Yeah. Oh, man. But, you know what? No one will know. It'll just be a secret. So she went over and she said, you know what? I didn't think I thought about it, and I will take that golden arm right home. And she did. She didn't tell anybody. She didn't tell her friends. She said, I'm just going to take that home with me. Yes, she was. And, and well, she missed her husband, but she started thinking, you know, this is gold. There's so much gold in here. It's going to be so beautiful. And you know what? No one will even know. So it's very fine. So she settled down and she was just thinking about all the things she was going to do with that gold. She almost thought she heard something, but oh, that's, the, uh, the, you know what? It's a windy night. I, it's probably a windy night. That's a problem. I'm going to go shut the windows because, boy, that wind, it almost, it was my imagination, that was almost a problem. Then. Who's got my gold in Man, I almost thought I heard something. Else. I am going to, I'm going to lock the doors. I'm going to make sure all the doors are locked. And she went all the way around the house, locking the doors. So it's like, okay. Who's got my golden eye? No, I'm getting pretty tired. I'm almost hearing things. I think I'm going to go upstairs to my bedroom. I'm going to go up there. And I'm, I'm just going to go up there and climb into bed. I think it's a good idea. Who's got my golden eye? I'm going to go really underneath the covers. Will you hold this for me? Here you go. I'm just going to go Who's under the covers. Who's got my golden eye? I'm going to go to sleep now. I think I'm going to go to sleep. Who's got my golden eye? You do! Who's got my golden arm? You've got my golden arm! <laughs> when they said that night, the golden arm disappeared and was never heard from or seen again. And that is the story about the man with the golden arm.